Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for September the 1st. Today in 1532, Henry VIII made Anne Boleyn the Marquess of Pembroke. This was the first hereditary peerage title granted to a woman in her own right. Apparently, the Earl of Pembroke had actually been a very significant title for the House of Tudor. It was held by Henry VIII's grand uncle, Jasper Tudor, and it referred to the birthplace of Henry VII. So Henry VIII decided to raise Anne to the dignity of a Marquess before finally marrying her. Also, this was right before a trip to France where she wasn't married yet, so she wasn't considered queen and she needed to have some nobility to be able to accompany Henry on this trip to France. And so he decided to grant her the title of Marquess of Pembroke. She also received with that land, mostly in Wales, worth over a thousand pounds. And the investiture ceremony was performed by Henry VIII himself in Windsor Castle. It was a very elaborate affair witnessed by the highest ranking peers and clergy, including Thomas Boleyn, who was her father, Thomas Howard, the Duke of Norfolk, Charles Brandon, and the French ambassador was also present. The Bishop of Winchester read the patent of creation while Anne knelt before the king, who then invested her with the robe of a state and the charters of creation and of the lands. So today, in 1532, Anne Boleyn becomes nobility in her own right. That's your Tudor Minute. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.